so this is the demo of the application and here you can see in the left side and the right side of the screen that sound waves are forming with uh, these charts and dotted lines so let me take you to google and show you some pictures of the sound waves so that uh, you can understand the whole thing so i'm searching for sound wave detection here i will be clicking on the images okay so now you can see various images are there but uh, here you can see like uh, how the sound wave propagate okay so now you can understand and let me take you to the android studio where we gonna make this project from the beginning okay so welcome to techno learning and here we'll be clicking on the new project to create this sound wave detector application okay clicking on next and here we have to give the application name so i'll be giving the name as sound and then sound wave detector also we have to change the package name and make sure the language selected is java and you can modify the minimum sdk but i suggest you to remain this as it is okay so here i'm changing the package name and will be redefining the package name as sound babe dot detection z okay and the whole things are there and now i'll be clicking on finish okay it will be redirected to the android studio editor that is the id and then we gonna work on the coding part of this application so now you can see that the loading of modules and scanning the file to the indexes and building the grader and now we have to create some new classes so just right click on the package name and then new here we have to give the name of the new class so i'm giving the name as color scheme okay so for generating those charts and dotted points we need color scheme that's why we have created this class called color scheme then i'm creating another new class and this class will be named as screen visualization okay so on the screen you have seen that uh, screen in the landscape mode actually that was a visualizer that we are creating right now and one more thing that we need to create here and it will be named as dots point array okay so i'm creating this and here you can see that all these three classes are added along with the main activity okay now we gonna go with this resources and within this we have layout and now we have to work on the design part so as i've told you earlier that uh, we have that landscape uh, screen and here we need to design only this one screen here now you can see on the screen i gonna edit this text or the code that you are currently seeing right now so i've added that text uh, made the font greater in size so that you can see the screen clearly and you can type the code easily okay so here i'm editing this text view and then i have to edit this text already told you again now adding like touch to and like uh, touch to on the mic okay so whenever you touch the screen the mic will be on and you can start speaking and then the sound waves start propagating on your screen okay so now we have to give few more properties for this particular view so i'm giving the properties such as text size so i'm taking the text size higher in size like a 37 sp again we have to give one more property so i'm giving it like uh, we can change the background and all these things uh, you can choose any color of your choice or you can give the hex colors hex colors a very beautiful option to create the background with that or while choosing the color for anything it can be like font it can be like background it can be like border etc so i will be choosing the hex option for this and the hex code for this like this if you don't know about uh, hex codes for the colors then you can check on internet there are plenty of resources available there okay now i have to give some padding here so i'm giving the padding as 25 dp and uh, in the right side of the screen you can see that how it is modifying the screen now the most important thing 
is to give the id so the id will be like we have to give some label name okay so i'm giving like label underscore name and here this one is extra i have to delete it okay now i have to create visualization screen here and for that i have to code it within java then by the help of our package name i'll be doing it here okay so i have to give the package name first of all so the package name in the beginning of this video we have chosen as sound wave dot detector the detection and then jet okay then we have to give the particular class name in which we have to create the screen for visualizing the sound waves so i'm giving the name as screen visualization as we have already created this class within this package okay now we have to give few properties for this custom view yes it is a custom view that we are creating and now we have to give few properties such as id and width and height okay so i'll be copying out this width and height from the top and then pasting it like this and then i have to take the id for this particular screen visualization so i'm taking the id and here we have to modify the id name for this so i have to remove this label underscore name and instead of that i have to add visualization okay so this is all and but it is showing the uh, red marker because uh, we have not uh, created the view within the java part yet we have to extend the class uh, by view so don't worry about the error it will be removed once we coded this file called screen visualization okay and now we have to code this class screen visualization first of all we have to extend it by view and so will be i am doing here by typing extend and this will be taken as view okay and now we have to give some static variables and all these things here for the globalization of the variables now let me see what does it showing okay we have to create an constructor also so that uh, this error can be removed as we have uh, integrated or you can say we have extend the, the class by view then we need to call the constructor here okay so this is the constructor but i think i have taken the wrong parameters i have to take two parameters the context as well as the attributes okay so let me take the second one now it is the correct one okay now we have to remove this screen part we have to only see the coded part here okay and here what we gonna do after the constructor like we have to declare some variables here so i'm declaring the variables private static and then making the final integer variable max amplitude okay as we already know that uh, the sound waves have their particular frequency amplitudes and all these things but here we'll be needing the amplitude and we'll be defining the amplitude limit by the integer variable limit like 32767 okay then we have to make some objects of the class so here we are declaring the objects only and declaration of dot points array it's a vector and then we have the color scheme don't worry about these things uh, as we are making the object then uh, there must be some function call or getting something like a variable uh, taking from that class will be there so that's why we are declaring them right now and after completing this class we'll be gonna to these two classes to complete them but uh, for the screen visualization part this class need to be completed firstly that's why we are doing this and here i have removed this null label and after that we have to give like color scheme and like here i am defining the object okay and now what i gonna do next here we have to let me check what uh, is left out here as we have declared the variables also the constructor part is done and this uh, okay so now we have to overwrite some method here and that method is on size changed okay so as the screen is divided into two parts 
okay so two parts the first the left part was showing the chart and the second part was showing the dotted things okay so dotted points and here we have to like uh, on size chain we are doing this and making this like this and just uh, making this amplitude height and width equals to what we have here and for the amplitude uh, we need to create the object of dots point array and here we have to pass out this thing like width should be divided by 2 as I've already told you the left part will contain the chart and the second the right part the half the second half of the screen will contain this dot points array okay so that's why I passed like width divided by 2 uh, why we are taking the width as we have the screen in the landscape mode that's why and here you can see that amplitudes and the vectors part is done by the help of dot points array okay now what uh, next can be done like uh, here we have to make another method called add amplitudes okay so which part was showing amplitude and which part was showing the points okay so the left part was showing the amplitude and the right side was showing the points okay but this dot point array will take care of the both things that's why we have taken the amplitude as well as the factors and divide the, the screen into the two halves okay now I have called that invalidate thing uh, to make sure that we don't have the some cache and all this uh, garbage data then we have to scale out the height so we have to do this mathematical equation here okay so this mathematical thing is there and then uh, we have to add this like uh, it like zero and then height and we have to minus out this scale height from it okay so that the height cannot be go beyond the screen part that uh, we have to take care about okay and why this ad is showing uh, red font because we have not defined this method within that class so for that we have to define it but uh, we are calling it without defining it because we have to complete this screen visualization first so that that XML will be error free okay so here I'm shuffling the color scheme why I'm shuffling the color scheme as I have shown you that uh, demo in the beginning of the video where you have seen that uh, the color was changing at that point the shuffling method was called okay and now we have to take out the canvas straw paint also and we have to give all these things by the help of canvas and then we have to draw lines and which color we have to give within the lines how much stroke will it have we have to define all these things here only and you can change according to your mind okay then we are calling these methods and it is showing error so don't worry about this we will be defining these methods but we are calling them just for the sake of that XML file should be error free okay so now I am calling this canvas dot draw line and then we have width divided by 2 and then we have the height okay and then again we have width and then okay I have taken the spelling of width wrongly I'm sorry for that but uh, this doesn't make any sense like to clear the spellings also it's just a variable name you can understand if you understand the programming okay so now all these things like color scheme for line paint uh, and all these things then we have to pass out the amplitude dot uh, get indexed array and here we have to pass out like we have this with having wrong spelling and we have to divide it by 2 okay then we have the color scheme and the color scheme will be like circle 
paint okay why we have uh, uh, calling these lines uh, this is for drawing the points and we have to take in the circle paints with the particular color scheme that's why we have to passing out all these things within this function so this is completed although it is showing error because the methods are not defined within that particular class and we have to go to another class so that these errors can be removed and the methods can be defined and the errors will automatically get removed 